In this video, I'm going to share one of my lead guitar warm-up exercises. Subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, Jason here. Just wanted to share a very quick warm-up guitar exercise with you guys. Now, this is something I usually do before I start practicing or before I'm playing a gig, which I haven't played a live gig in like uh, forever. It's been a year or before I go into the studio and start recording, I go through several exercises uh, to warm up, but this is the first warm up that I do, so I wanna share it with you guys. So I'm gonna play it through one time, and then I'll slow it down and we'll go over the notes. So I'll play a little slower. Now, I'm not throwing the tablature up. Uh, the tabs are actually in a free ebook, and I'm gonna tell you how to get that in a second here, but hopefully you can just kind of follow along with me. It's just not that difficult. Um, the, those first four strings, the notes I'm hitting, are on the fifth and ninth, so it's quite a stretch, like stretchy pants, <laughs> which I don't wear those, but perhaps I'll get a pair. Now, along with this being a warm-up, it's also a stretching exercise as well. It's going to stretch your fingers. So going from that fifth to that ninth fret, you know, depending on how big your hands are, and that's kind of a stretch for me, and I think it's a stretch for most people. And the purpose of that, the purpose of starting with that, is when you stretch out like that, if you have a guitar solo that you're about to record in a specific song or that you got to play live or whatever, when you get to that and that guitar solo has a stretch in it, you're gonna find it's a lot easier to do that. Uh, this is like working out. This whole exercise is, is just like going to the gym. You know, you're gonna do some type of warm up before you jump right into the heavy lifting. So let's go through this pattern again. I play this pattern three different ways. So the first way I play it, and I go over this like three times each way. So it's like three and three. The first time around, I just do down strokes. So let's do that again. So again, those the A, uh, the A, D, and G string. I'm going from the fifth to the ninth. I forgot to at least call out the notes since I'm not throwing up the tablature. Um, and then those last two strings, um, we're going to what is this? The three, five, the seven, the seven, eight, and then eleven. kind of an odd note in there but I threw that in there again for that stretch because that's that's kind of part of what this warm-up is all about so same thing on the E string and I just run back over so again I do it three times I do that pattern three times with down strokes practice that then the next three times, I do a switcheroo. I go with alternate picking. So I do that three times. The final three times, I go back to downstrokes, but I do kind of a palm mute. And this gives it that metal edge that we all love so much. Now that last part there is totally optional. I think it sounds cool because I love throwing in that that palm mute in my solos and my guitar solos, but I only throw it in like here and there. It just depends on you know where you want to put it. <laughs> so it just gives it a, a nice spice of life in there to your guitar solo when you do that. So I practice that pattern those three different ways. So it gets me used to downstrokes. It gets it gets me warmed up with my alternate picking. And uh, it also gets me, you know, warmed up if I'm playing some palm muted notes as well. So that's that's like my primary warm up before I jump into the studio and I'm gonna do a, do a session. I'm recording leads, or if I play live, which I haven't played live in like a year. <laughs> I need to change that. I miss the stage. I seriously do. Um, and sorry, I'm, my my voice is kind of screwed up because I've been sick all weekend, dude. It was like New Year's weekend and. 
I was sick, so instead of drinking like beer and, and shots and stuff like that, uh, I was drinking shots of NyQuil and DayQuil. The good part of that is I got to sit on the couch and watch Netflix all weekend, so that was pretty cool. Anyway, um, back to this. So that's the pattern that I play, guys. That's one of my primary warm-ups, again, and I, I think it's a very important warm-up because you're, you're playing different notes, and um, and then you're getting that stretch in there as well. So it's like a warm up slash stretching exercise. So I encourage you to do that. And I talked about the tablature. Um, I have a free ebook that you guys can get. If you go to the web uh, the web link below, just type that in, or you can go in the description of this video and just click on that link, and it'll take you to a place to download my free ebook. It's called Guitar Licks of Fire. Licks of Fire sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And um, basically, it's just a, it's like a five lesson daily guitar practice patterns. So I encourage you to download that ebook. And um, again, it's totally free. Just go there and go to the link there. Uh, download the ebook. And I want you guys to take this serious. I want you guys, you know, to to practice these five exercises they have. I think it'll take you about maybe ten minutes. And I've said this in prior videos. It's best to practice just ten minutes a day. It's best to do that than it is to practice like two or three hours one day and then not touch your guitar for a whole week. So I'd rather use, and that's why I put this book out there. I'd rather see you guys just you know do some sort of practice each day. Now, if you're if you're an advanced guitar player and and some of these exercises might be a little easier for you, just feel free to add your own flavor to them. You know, if you want to add some notes, throw it in there. Just kind of use it as a guide, and that's that's exactly what this is. So again, go to the link below or click on the link in the description and it'll take you to my Guitar Licks of Fire. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. And until in the next video, keep it metal.